and it's a new pattern how is it a new pattern in the passage you see first paragraph at the end of that you see uh, a one sentence in bold then there is a question based on that that is rather a new model and in the second paragraph you see there is a blank again a new pattern third paragraph you see c a blank a new pattern but all said and done this passage is a short passage and the questions are rather easy only thing you should not get uh, you should not paranoid read the passage carefully and once you read the passage understand the context not difficult to answer the questions so shall i start with the first question question number 1 according to the passage given above what might come in india's goal of leading the world's wind power generation please underline what might come in india's goal of leading the world's wind power generation all of you go to the first paragraph the first sentence what does it talk about increased warming in the indian ocean one and the resultant weakening of the indian summer monsoon two may come in the way of india's goal of leading the world's wind power generation the very first sentence it's crystal clear so what is the first option here increased warming in the indian ocean right or wrong sea weeds right or wrong wrong write the other word for sea weeds please write uh, marine plants also write the word kelps marine plants are also known as kelps k e l p s weed is not the actual word weed is a negative word write the meaning of the word weed weed means what unwanted plant in the garden unwanted plant in the garden but here sea weeds they are not unwanted they are wanted and it is misleading rather sea weeds means marine plants and the other word for that kelps so this is not right what is the third option the resultant weakening of the indian summer monsoon mentioned in the passage the first sentence so what is the answer based on that both 1 and 3 but unfortunately what does the key say so answer is uh, the fourth option do remember question number 2 in the passage given a sentence a is given in italics there may or may not be an error in one part of the sentence choose the part which has an error in it as your answer if there is no error then choose option 5 as your answer what is the first option here then again you have to go to the passage and read that sentence in bold a not significant decline was seen in will you say no significant or not significant and no significant so there is an error in the first part no significant decline was seen in tamil nadu which is located on the east coast on the east coast that is right and thus had different wind conditions during summer is also right so which part is not correct one is not correct again the key says something else don't worry about that what you think is right question number 3 Which of the following words should fill in the blank? Fill the blank given in B to make it contextually correct and meaningful. Now go to B. What does the sentence talk about? The researchers showed that 63 percent of the annual production of electricity from wind is by winds. You can use the word generated, contributed, produced, any of these words. But what do you see among the options? so here distribute the verb form is it right or wrong mark it wrong contributed so that seems right hold that one contributed by contribute again the verb form is not correct give the verb form is not correct so what is the answer here contributed that is also an easy one pattern is new but the question is easy so it all depends on how well you handle the question Shall I move on to the next one? Today I see more students. That's a good thing. After a long time, it's almost full. So, question number four, according to the passage given above, how are summer winds driven in India? 
all of you please go to the third paragraph third paragraph the very first sentence what does it talk about summer winds in india are driven by the temperature contrast underlying temperature contrast between the indian subcontinent and the indian ocean underlying indian subcontinent indian ocean what does the first option talk about indian ocean or arabian sea so is it right or wrong wrong they are driven by the temperature contrast between the indian subcontinent and the bay of bengal wrong they are driven by the temperature contrast between the indian subcontinent and the indian ocean same thing has been mentioned so what is the answer based on that the third option is the answer easy or difficult rather easy should not be a problem now a lot of work questions based on vocabulary which of the following is similar in meaning to the word cumulative first you write the meaning of the word cumulative cumulative means progressive growing progressive growing also write the word increasing progressive growing increasing now what is the first option here d generally d the prefix has a negative connotation so write the meaning of the word digressive means gradually reducing reducing gradually reducing gradually so is it the similar meaning cumulative is a positive word you have to choose a positive word digressive is a negative word faint paper is very tough some candidates may faint right or wrong there is every possibility that is one meaning she fainted write one sentence she fainted when she saw the paper don't write the second part simply write she fainted and which part of speech is it here please underline the word fainted and write the part of speech verb but faint could be an adjective so please write the expression faint memory memory which part of speech is it noun faint adjective here faint means what not clear vague please write the word vague vague means what not clear foggy also write the word foggy f o g g y foggy so do you think that is the right word no what is the third one succumb here the letter last letter is silent write the meaning of succumb succumb usually goes with uh, accidents and major problems related to health health problems and the meaning of that please write the word yield yield also write a uh, appraisal verb give in yield what is the appraisal verb with the same meaning give in also write the word surrender and write the combination that is very important succumb to injuries what is the typical collocation succumb to injuries accident what do you get injuries so minor injuries you come out of the hospital major injuries you succumb then a body comes out to the hospital that is a difference you got the meaning fine so do you think that is a right word here no accretive same meaning write the meaning of that word growing increasing growing or increasing gradually growing or increasing gradually hold that one what is the fifth option none of the above but cumulative growing increasing progressive accretive also means the same thing he wants similar or opposite so what is the answer based on that that is the answer question number 6 which of the following is opposite please underline the word opposite correlate correlate means correspond please write correspond also write the word tally tally means what not the accounts package here tally means what match 
You all know tally. What is it? Accounts package. So here tally means what? Match. So correlate, match. He wants the opposite. Complement. Is it opposite? But here please underline the letter E. Complete, what is the spelling? C-O-M-P-L-E-T-E. -E. From that you get complement, something that completes. If you see the spelling I, what does it mean? Praise, compliment someone. And contrast, matching, similar, what is opposite? Contrast, hold the second option. Supplement, support, add on, not relevant, not relevant. Languish, this is, a, this is an important word. Write the meaning of the word languish. Languish has got two different meanings. One, to become weak. To become weak. To deteriorate. Become weak means what? To deteriorate. The condition comes down. The standards come down. And the second meaning, languish, to be To be in a state, to be in a particular state, please write, to be in a particular state, brackets, suffering for a long time. You are in a particular state that is not positive, where you have to suffer a lot, then what is the word we use? They have been languishing in poverty. Write the combination. Languish in poverty. Languish in poverty. Also write uh, one more combination. Languish in hardships. Hardships means what? Difficulties. So what is the answer here? Second. Shall I ask for the second time? Too early to say that. So contrast is the answer. Question number seven. Which of the following words should fill the blank given in C to make it contextually correct and meaningful? So take the passage, uh, go to the passage. Where is the C? Third paragraph, what is the sentence? The researchers say that this goal can be, please underline can be, that is active voice or passive voice? She can do that. That can be done by her. Passive voice. That means the verb should be in which form? Past participle. That is one clue for you. But here, beneficial. Hold that one. Benefits. Similar words. Hold that also. Can be lose. No. Please underline the word lose. Which part of speech is it? I don't give so much time. Which part of speech is it? Lose shirt. Ah, now you tell immediately. Please write adjective. L O O S C. What is it? Adjective. Then you write the word L O S C. Which part of speech is this? Write verb. Then you write L O S S. Which part of speech? Noun. So confusing words. Not relevant here. Addition. Again, not relevant. Now we'll see the sentence. What is it? Uh, the researchers say that this goal can be. Now there are two possibilities here when you see can be. Please write two sentences. First sentence. Don't write there. Write in your notebook. That work can be done by her. That work can be done by her. Underline can be done. Brackets you write. Passive voice. Passive voice. Write the second sentence with a star mark. That work can be. That work can be interesting. That work can be interesting. Now is this active voice or passive voice? Immediate answer. Active voice, not passive voice. Now take a pause after that work can be. Ask the question, can be what? What is the answer you're going to get? Interesting. 
interesting work what is the word interesting i gave the combination you should be able to tell interesting person interesting lecture so what is the word interesting so in this pattern it can be something then it is not passive voice that work can be what interesting the same way what is the first option here it can be beneficial beneficial policy beneficial work so what is the word beneficial adjective so based on that what is the answer first option is the answer beneficial that can be beneficial how many of you have chosen the word beneficial that's wonderful you are ready for the exam <laughs> no <laughs> so 8 to 15 they test your patience you got a lot of patience and uh, not at all easy what are these about you see a blank and how many options do you see four options and again you see some options which combination is right two words are right and two words are not right but uh, all these questions as i say operate they have been testing your patience one thing your stress levels another thing and third they are stress they are trying to test your comprehension knowledge comprehension skill besides vocabulary and that is the most difficult area for many candidates now these questions deal with to what extent you are good at uh, vocabulary and to what extent you can understand the context contextual awareness is always important this i have been telling for quite some time now we'll read the, i'll read out the sentence try to understand the context then we'll go to the words if india's universities develop tomorrow's technologies please underline the expression tomorrow's technologies means what technologies that belong to future that belong to future anything that belongs to future there is one expression please write the expression futuristic first you write the word futuristic then you write the combination futuristic technologies futuristic technologies and write one more combination futuristic design futuristic design write one more combination futuristic house futuristic house now regular houses traditional houses tile houses or regular houses and some design looks totally different unique and you feel this design belongs to future not the present time then what do you call that design a futuristic design and what do you call that house futuristic house generally when you see a house you see the front part or the side or back what do you see what is the word for the front portion of a building please write the word it is usually mispronounced it is pronounced as facade what is the spelling f a c a d e how is it pronounced facade d facade is the correct pronunciation uh, what is the meaning of that the front portion of a building the elevation of a building have you written facade so based on that tomorrow's technologies futuristic technologies it could provide cutting edge this is a very good expression see when i say something is very good not personal taste what does it mean it means that these expressions you have to use at the time of writing an essay or writing a letter in the descriptive paper that is very important and second thing when you talk about uh, participate in a group discussion or at the time of the interview you try to use words like downtrodden communities backward communities underprivileged communities cutting edge technology futuristic technologies you sound like an intellectual then you get some marks that is very important okay so here the context is about what technology one thing and uh, i will complete and technologies if india's universities develop tomorrow's technologies it could provide cutting edge and technologies now what is the first option here frugal i have given many a time when you talk about uh, spending money on the positive we'll start with the negative on the negative side please write the word 
if someone spends a mon spends money just like that uh, without thinking what is the word for that person please write the word spend thrift spend thrift write the meaning a person who spends money without thinking a person who spends money without thinking they see something on whims and fancies they buy it they don't think whether it is worth or not then what do you say spend thrift and there are two more words which are very important write the next word lavish they spend money lavishly what is the adverb form lavishly without thinking and there is one more word please write the word they spend money extravagantly extravagantly spend thrifts they spend money lavishly or extravagantly negative words so i said i would start with negative words all these are negative now we'll go to the positive words some people they spend money before they spend a thing twice is it worth or not then there are two words first you write the word frugal what is the word frugal means they think and spend second word please write thrifty spend thrift negative word thrifty positive word and uh, some people they have a lot of money they don't spend at all so what <laughs> please write the word miser also write the word stingy old english miser now we say stingy stingy could be with money or something else you have something you don't use it you don't give it to others you don't spend the money then what is the word for that stingy person now you got the first option what is the first option here we'll go back to the question frugal frugal technologies means what economical technology that saves money seems right hold that one what is the second one ascetic ascetic goes with individuals not with technologies and what is the meaning of the word ascetic first you write the word austere this goes with effective english write the word austere a u s t e r e austere means they don't uh, get indulged in certain activities or they don't indulge in uh, lavish spending they don't spend money and they don't uh, get into uh, pleasures and they what is the word for that when you don't get into renounce please write the word renounce renunciation there is one more word write the word relinquish 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 also means the same renounce and ascetics usually they renounce everything they renounce what worldly pleasures they don't indulge in pleasures and uh, we use the word ascetic does it go with technologies as i said no it doesn't go with technologies it goes with people so not relevant here mark it wrong what is the third one economical so economical technologies that seems right hold that one what is the fourth option here meager meager means what a little scanty write the word scanty scanty s c a n t y meager also write a little so based on this what do you think the answer is don't tell the options tell the words one is frugal the other is uh, now don't expect me to tell which option that one sheer waste of time and tomorrow don't say murthy sir doesn't teach completely he stops on the way so do you want me to do that all that you have to know what are the two words that's enough these options they don't matter so what are the two words that go with this particular context one is frugal the other one is economical that's what matters question number 9 the noise of a dentist drill might awaken feelings of and nervousness what is a clue from the context underline the word nervousness is it positive or negative negative now what is the first option here that's an important word underline the word apprehension 
you have got many a time a feeling that please write the meaning of apprehension a feeling that something something bad may happen something bad or negative may happen so the dentist drill what sort of a feeling does it uh, arouse or what impact does it make apprehension a feeling of something negative hold that one and uh, what is the second option here scruple please write the meaning of that scruple means hesitation first you write the word hesitation also write uh, second thoughts i use this quite often no second thoughts second thoughts but bracket you write related to morality please write hesitation related to what morality that is important here scruple goes with morality i have no scruples regarding that means what i don't think of the moral aspect regarding something so hesitation related to morality does it go with this context please mark it wrong i told you to hold the first one second one not relevant here uneasiness yes you can consider nervousness uneasiness and what is the fourth option disgust disgust means please write this taste also write the word aversion what is the meaning of the word aversion ah strong dislike very good you don't want to look at that you don't want to see that you don't want to do that then you use the word disgusting you go to a place to have food the place is very dirty then what do you say disgusting place thank you disgusting place got it now if you take the, what is the context here what is the context dentist drill it it causes you you get scared you feel nervous and you also feel uneasy but you have to decide between so third option is right you have to decide between apprehension and disgust so what is the right word if he is doing that to you perhaps apprehension but is it does it talk about that the context it doesn't talk about that and uh, you don't feel like listening to that you don't want to listen to that then what is the right word disgusting so i feel the right option uneasiness and disgust that is the right pair but do you see that pair which option is that okay fine and the key says uh, first and third am i right first and third but not apprehension here apprehension doesn't come into picture apprehension goes with imagine you are thinking of future or uh, you have taken the exam you have written the exam and you are thinking of the result when you think of the result you have your own peers you have your own apprehensions so it goes to the future but here something is going on you are able to make out the dentist is using his drill and that you find that sound makes you nervous one thing possible and you find it disgusting that is also possible now we'll move on to the next one question number 10 political commitment to improving the quality of education backed by strong review and monitoring mechanisms can can what meaningful activity in states so what is the first option here arouse please write the meaning of that arouse means cause also write the word induce cause or induce then write the meaning of spur spur means one is encourage also write the word incite also write the synonym prompt prompt already it is there now what is the third option impetus write the meaning of that 
impetus means momentum momentum also write the word force momentum or force impetus the impetus to do something it gives the impetus to achieve something means a momentum to achieve something now you have to decide between spur prompt synonyms i said arouse means what cause induce but the context talks about what meaningful activity in states now arouse usually goes with feelings and emotions please write the combination arouse goes with feelings and emotions but what is the context here is it about emotions second time is it about emotions ah so what is it about meaningful activity in state then we cannot consider the word arouse what are you left with second option fourth option that is the answer spur prompt prompt to what meaningful activity in states spur meaningful activity in states so answer is uh, second and fourth since it's before you see the words you have to think of inception if you read the newspapers since its inception the niti ayog has been a believer in competitive federalism please underline competitive federalism that puts pressure on policy makers across states to perform better on predefined goals and metrics now here since it's nascent that is not the right word write the meaning of the word nascent but it's an important word nascent means growing growing initial stage right brackets initial stage also write the word fledgling fledgling that's a better word f l e d g l i n g fledgling growing initial stage it does it go with this no it is not the right word since it's nascent stage would have been better but it is not grammatically correct to say since it's nascent that is not at all right since it's founding seems right hold that one since it's inception this talks about what niti ayog so you have to use a a word that goes with effective english so do you think this goes with effective english second time do you think it goes with effective english hope you guys are with me ah yeah. oh, thank you so tick the third option and what is the fourth option since its birth this also seems right now third is for sure you have to decide between since its founding since its birth better expression since its birth so based on that what is the option third and fourth is the answer not founding it is since its birth since its inception inception is a better word both mean the same all world religions mahatma gandhi's idea of ahimsa as the highest of ideals and give the message of tolerance please underline the word ideals means what please write values ideals values then you write the word idols idol has two meanings one meaning related to religion so at the time of a particular festival you buy let us take uh, uh, vinayak chauthi what do you do you buy the idol of lord vignesh that's one meaning second meaning please write the second meaning someone is your idol means what role model please write the word role model he is my idol means what he is my role model then tolerance write one combination please write religious tolerance religious tolerance now we'll see the options first one propound write the meaning of that means promote one meaning promote also write advocate promote means what advocate 
you talk about something you promote something so already you have the word advocate so based on that what is the answer the synonyms the first and the fourth but we'll see other options what is the second option here effeminate means like a woman some uh, not uh, too many but uh, sometimes you see a man he looks like a woman then womanly attitude womanly behavior a man looks and behaves like a woman then we use this word so what is the meaning of that effeminate means womanly appearance or behavior if a girl behaves like a boy then what is the word you should always think of the other way a man behaves like a woman effeminate a boy a girl behaves like a boy ah very good please write the word tomboy she is a tomboy means what she behaves like a boy so does it go with this context no what is the third one prod prod means please write the meaning p o k e poke also write the word nudge with your elbow you push someone what is the word for that nudge n u d g e prod means p o k e there is one saying in english you try to interfere in others affairs then what is what do others say don't poke your nose in so you know what it means what is the next one advocate so what is the answer here no no today it is not some of i feel you guys are not connected you are not up to the up to my expectations have you read these questions i should have asked that question at the outset then you should respond so what is the answer now first option and fourth option i can make out from the your faces and your body language easy paper you look at me and you maintain eye contact you have read the question you look at the master you maintain the eye contact and you look more relaxed now you haven't read or you feel those questions are very tough master is there or not nobody knows or you pretend that way so you don't look at the master you don't uh, try to listen but do remember i have been telling the students sometimes you do come across tough questions unfamiliar context you may not understand at the time of mock test you might not have attempted it doesn't mean that you should not listen to the master when you come here do you understand what i say could be a tough question could be unfamiliar but listen to the master and see what he has got to say and next time that will help you in the exam but you completely cut off i did not touch that question so why should i listen that is not a good thing do you understand what i say fine so what is the question number now 13 states need to competition and give a boost please underline the word boost here boost means what encouragement to all key stakeholders that's a good word underline the word stakeholders stakeholders means what those who have interest in a particular activity or those who are related to a particular activity usually it goes with please write business stakeholders in some business it goes with business in education here what is it in education in the driver's seat to improve their learning levels states need to do what what is the first option here pedal please write the noun form then you can guess the meaning of that peddler peddler means some people they sell stuff pushing the cart and they move from one place to another place those people are called peddlers and that act is called peddling but there is another word we use regularly in everyday english you all must be knowing that please write the word hawk hawkers have you heard of this word hawkers but usually hawkers they stay at one place in the street they sell and peddlers they go move from one place to another place it also goes with cycling cycle what do you do you pedal the cycle it goes with cycling does it go with this context not at all induce induce means what cause please write already have written coerce means force poster means what encourage 
write the meaning foster means encourage in this context they shouldn't have used the word induce but still you cannot select the word pedal you cannot select the word coerce and you're left with two words what are they one is induce induce what induce competition could be healthy could be unhealthy and foster competition so answer is the second and the fourth induce and foster a healthy planet is public good and governments and people are to use it well this is a bit difficult please underline the first option what is the first option indentured it means contract agreement and bracket you write companies organizations companies organizations and also write the word binding contract is always binding right right or wrong contract is binding but here context is important and here indentured goes with companies and organizations context is about that or something else second time context is it about companies or about the planet earth then can we use the word indentured reject that one what is the next one obligated this comes from the word obligation obligation means what either it is your duty to do it or you have promised to do it this seems the right word hold that one what is the next one great pull hold that also and bound but which are which two words are related obligation and grateful or obligation and bound obligation and bound obligation is binding obviously so what is the answer based on that no option like that or there is an option ah oh, that doesn't matter that's what i said don't depend on those things depend on the words is it the last one or we have one more in that pattern hmm so what is the 15th one terrorism has no place in a civilized world and is contrary to all religious scruples already you got the word scruple means what hesitation second thought but related to morality but not right here tenets underline the word tenets and write the meaning tenets means principles now the next option is what principles so what is the answer based on that tenets and principles thesis means a theory write the meaning of thesis theory thesis theory the tenets of some religion the principles of some religion answer is the second and third poverty eclipses the brightest virtues no instructions here 16 you have instructions over there but what do you understand you are supposed to select one of the options to fill the blank and it is not a word it is an expression poverty eclipses the brightest virtues and is very sepulture or brave designs what nature has fitted him for and stifling the noblest thoughts in their embryo very difficult to understand the context it's a mix of philosophy and biology both are very complex subjects now but you have to use a grammar knowledge let us see deprive or depriving at the outset you have to know whether you have to use the word deprive or depriving here it should be depriving someone or some of something so don't consider the first option don't consider the third option you have to decide ha huh, fourth option also don't consider you have to decide between the second option and the fifth option depriving a man of the means to accomplish please underline to accomplish and what is the fifth option depriving a man of the means for accomplishing which one is correct to accomplish is right so what is the answer based on that the second option is the answer question number 
improving it literacy is a great task ahead because for digital india that masses know how to utilize the digital resources so for digital india generally we say for someone to do something for someone to achieve something for someone to accomplish something so based on that pattern we'll see for becoming do you think it is right to become successful it is to be necessitated hold that one hold that one to become successful it is necessary this seems right hold this also for becoming wrong to becoming is also wrong so which is better third option is the answer to become successful it is necessary to do something to achieve success it is necessary to read the hindu paper again back to square one now the next one what is it what is the second option it is to be necessitated it is too lengthy and the pattern is not a regular pattern based on the pattern english has about 350 patterns and uh, what is in usage generally we say it is what is a uh, here for digital india what is the option number for digital india to become successful it is necessary that it is necessary that but if you go for the second option how does it go to become successful it is to be necessitated that masses that is not grammatically it sounds a little clumsy have you got it there is a saying in english what is it all of you please write one expression brevity just write the word brevity brevity means what brief please write the word brief so whether it is conversational english or written english people appreciate around the world something that is brief and clear and simple you won't believe britishers would admire mahatma gandhi's english his english that time they would say very simple simple yet effective it is very easy to complicate things it is very difficult to keep things simple you got it so simple english is effective and within no time you can complicate things then it leads to what confusion so when it comes to speech or writing the whatever you want to convey it should be brief simple and effective that is what we call brevity what is the word for that brevity shall i move on to the next one what is the question number discipline is the most important ingredient please underline the word ingredient usually it goes with what please write the word recipe recipe how to cook something what is the word for that a recipe to do something so when you talk about a particular recipe what is the word you use you have to take these ingredients plural form discipline is the most important ingredient which connects dreams and aspirations now you have to read the sentence very carefully underline the word connects then you underline dreams and aspirations generally connects it takes which preposition connect to now what is the first one here connect to which of successfully achieve does it sound grammatically correct for is ruled out connect to that of successful achievement what is next no no let me see them in reality not grammatically correct and what is the fourth option to that of successfully achieving achieving what achieving them in reality this is grammatically right so what is the answer fourth option is the answer to connect dreams and aspirations to that of successfully achieving them in reality a little difficult question number 19 it is undeniable that without effective party politics only the elite underline the word elite elite or elite either way it is right what is the meaning of that cream of a society don't ask me sir which cream 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 of a society means what the rich and famous please write the expression the rich and famous any society has who are the top people rich and famous 
the cream what is the word for that elite it is undeniable that without effective party politics only the elite of the society and government dominance shall be thriving by used dominance is it grammatically correct no will thrived will thrive or thrived see i am doing a little fast we have only 15 minutes please respond would have been thriving by using their dominance the too lengthy and not clear what is the fourth option will have to thrive that is also doesn't go with the context would thrive using their dominance this seems right so what is the answer here the fifth option is the answer they would thrive using their dominance what is the underline the word dominance which part of speech is it please write noun indian schools and colleges need to prepare the youth for a very different economic and digital world because the skills to survive and prosper in the future they are today in the future shall remain underline the word skills skills to survive and prosper in the future skills shall is it grammatically right second time skills shall is it grammatically right why is it not right when it comes to will and shall we use sh will and shall with past person singular and plural with other pronouns we use only will skills is third person plural we cannot use the word shall so please mark the first option wrong will be very different from what they are today hold that one shall be again reject the third option would be differentiated not correct will be very different with what now you have to decide between the second option the fourth option will be very different underline the word different which preposition does it take so what is answer based on that will be very different from what they are today it's a standard expression is it 21 to 25 what are these about your turf your turf means turf means what your ground your favorite thing spot the errors but a little tricky in each of the questions there is an error in any two parts of the sentences you have to identify the same and if there is no error according to you then mark option 5 as your answer with the demands of industry and service sectors please underline with the demands the demands of industry and service sectors changing with the demands of industry and service sectors changing at such a rapid pace students need to be sharp and choose a career wisely do you find any error how many of you have chosen the fifth option no error i appreciate all those students please make a note respect the fifth option 22 studies have show or studies have shown which tense is that present perfect tense the moment you see have or has or had then the verb you should tell yourself it should be one of the perfect tenses have shown present perfect tense and any perfect tense the verb should be in past participle form studies have shown that buildings roads and other hard surfaces absorb and store heat whereas vegetation underline the word vegetation singular or plural this sentence is in present tense or past tense or future tense but first clause is in present perfect second clause talks about uh, a fact then it should be in present but subject is third person singular and what is the verb here reflect if the sentence is in present tense subject is third person singular affirmative form what is the rule we should add s or es to the verb so what is the correct sentence vegetation reflects heat have you got it so which part what is the answer based on that a and d they want the part with errors right no what is your job hmm. that's it now shall i move on to the next one 
no institution all of you please be attentive i'm going to ask a few questions no institution however high including the judiciary please underline the word judiciary already while teaching articles i told you when you talk about the government departments like the legislature legislature judiciary executive you have to use a definite article the so there is no they have used the no error the judiciary should insulate insulate here means protect please write the meaning of the word insulate protect oneself from improvements my first question where is the error d how many of you say d so what is the error here here judiciary oneself or itself first you correct that one that means uh, which part is an error d now what is the second one no no respond a what is wrong with that no institution what is wrong with that or b what is b however high there is nothing wrong no error a no error b no error c then what is the answer god only knows because no you don't see any option this has been taken from the hindu paper and only one error is there which one is that one self is not correct itself is correct and you have if you have chosen some option i appreciate you respect the key you respect the options but do remember in this sentence there is only one error i repeat which one is that one self is not correct itself is correct otherwise every word same as it is they have lifted only one word they have changed so don't look at the options we'll move on to the next one question number 24 since more than 100 years please underline 100 years is it specific time or time period will you use since or for so for more than 100 years now scientists and writers of science fiction underline the word fiction fiction means what imagination please write fiction imagination <coughs> writers of science fiction alike have hoped that some day human kind will have a weapon so terrible that the fear of its impact will end war for all time this is rather difficult if you get this right i'll be very happy i will definitely appreciate tell me where is the second error who says d to save time raise your hands d that's very good but what is wrong with d which part is not correct here for all time is not correct it should be for all times please add the letter s for all times even this has been taken from the hindu paper so the second error not easy to make out time is not correct for all times so based on that you can decide which option is right an urban employment guarantee scheme not only improves please underline the word uh, first you underline not only improves after not only what is a grammatical unit a verb incomes of workers but also has which grammatical unit is that a verb it could be a helping verb it could be used as a main verb multiplier effects on the economy do you find any error who says no error i appreciate all those students answer is uh, let us respect the fifth option what is the fifth option no error absolutely right see why i say i appreciate those who choose the fifth option you need immense confidence a lot of confidence to select the fifth option though you go for the, your you feel that no error but back of the mind something tells you why will they give a sentence without an error perhaps there is an error so you spend more time more time but do remember one reading your gut feeling you feel it is right it is right don't go for the second reading very simple now we'll move on to the toughest one in this paper which one is that para jumble new pattern so whatever it is uh, it is all about uh, urban waste 
garbage and disposing garbage the questions what is the question number 26 this is a new pattern in the sense see in the past what they would do they would give six sentences and first one and sixth one they would give in between they would give options a b c d your job is to select a b c d the correct order first one given last one given one pattern initially later it changed now you know usually what is the pattern you see five or six sentences you have to get the correct order then the questions are based on after rearrangement which is the first which is the second this is again a new pattern how is it new he has given the one sentence which one is that the fourth one which is a fourth sentence and it is so lengthy considering statement c as a fourth see they are trying to confuse you guys and take your time if you read all that you have to spend a lot of time but if you focus on they could have given considering statement c as a fourth statement then which of the following becomes the first statement that saves your time but they repeated the same option and uh, very blindly you start reading that's a sheer waste of time right or wrong now what is the first sentence here uh, difficult to show but still who has chosen now we'll take elimination approach can a be the first sentence quickly can uh, b be the first sentence can c be the first sentence no according to the world bank report the world generates okay hold that one and d what is d in recent years so this seems to be the first one hold this one we'll go to the next what is the next one the need of the hour usually that is the last sentence conclusion we use the expression please underline the need of the hour is that goes at the end of the uh, paragraph or passage and city is home to over so this also potentially is there but uh, what is the first sentence here who has chosen d as the first sentence d is the first one please write in recent years landslides of waste dumps whatever it is because it's like a paragraph already it is almost three d is a first sentence and uh, what is the next one it, it's very difficult i'm telling you why i have seen the actual article they have taken this sentence a first sentence after that uh, about five or six sentences have deleted and they've come straight away to this one so the second one is b is the second one what is b while this is a topic that people are aware of waste generation is increasing at an alarming rate countries are rapidly developing without adequate systems in place to manage the changing waste composition of citizens how are they managing here please underline manage so what have you got so far db what is the next one usually where do you find the waste villages or cities obviously cities cities a lot of waste is gen generated common sense village is small or city is small village is small waste is not generated but cities mega cities a lot of waste is generated so next when we talk about garbage waste litter you should think of city so what is the next one f is the next one where is f cities home to over half of humanity they generate a lot of waste and generating more than 80 percent of the world's gdp are at the forefront of tackling the global waste challenge so he talks about a particular problem then he says uh, the writer says everyone is interested in this topic and where is the waste generated cities and who is at the forefront cities are tackling this problem so how many have you got so far and what is the order d b f already they have given what is the fourth one c and already i have said the the last sentence what is the expression i gave i told you to underline the need of the hour that is the last one so what is the next one now the million dollar question has anyone got this order please i would like to see i'm rather eager no one no surprise not your fault 
what is the reason they have lifted a few sentences here and there and not easy to make out the correct order i would like to give one example then i will wind up the session all of you please go to what is a please underline the demonstrative pronoun here and all these are contaminating what is c when we use these that is a fifth sentence fourth sentence is c fourth it should be something related to these what are these now let us see c according to the world bank report the world generates 2.01 billion tons of municipal solid waste annually with at least 33% of that not managed in an environmentally safe manner do you find any plural noun here then how can you use the demonstrative pronoun these solid waste not plural form not easy to make out the reason for that they have lifted from here and there they gave as a paragraph and if you get this right had you said sir i got that would have been a pleasant surprise for me i would have got puzzled i would have got bewildered but it is good that no one has said so on that note i would like to stop here easy paper or tough paper out of 30 I'd like to ask a question how many of you have got 20 plus please raise your hands now people hate me now this question why is he doing